Really, outside of work, my life isn't all that different from most people. I enjoy a glass of wine and dinner with friends, a good book. If you didn't know me, you might even be surprised to find out what I do for a living. <laughs> she does have a very morbid sense of humor, but I like that about her. She has introduced me to a lot of ideas about death that I hadn't thought about previously, so it's really caused me to think about these things a lot and come to terms with it on my own, which has been really, really good. People seem to have this idea that people in my profession are old men in suits, kind of hunched over with a low, creepy voice and gnarled fingers. I had been interested in death as long as I could remember, but it wasn't until I graduated that I realized that I could actually make a career out of this, and that's when I started applying to crematories. You would think that when I tell people that I'm a mortician, they would be horrified or grossed out. But in reality, people are really, really fascinated when I tell them because there's not a lot of information about death or the funeral industry, especially in the Western world. So when they get me in the corner at a party, they want to talk my ear off and I am very happy to oblige. I love being a mortician because I can be a really competent resource at a time when everything is awful and chaotic for a family who someone has just died. When I first started picking up dead bodies from homes or hospitals, I, I assumed that I would get to go in the carpool lane because I had another human in the car with me. But apparently dead humans don't count. So when you die, do I get to take care of your body? Absolutely. I think ritual is really, really important and we don't really do ritual very well anymore. Caitlin is also licensed to marry people. So I can marry you and bury you. If we can have good weddings and good funerals, then we're a good society. The decomposing bodies, like the ones beneath us right now in this cemetery, remind us that someday we too are going to die. And because of that fear, the modern funeral industry has pushed death out of culture more so than ever before in human history. Now I'm starting my own funeral home called Undertaking LA, and what it would be is not a traditional funeral home where I come and take the body away, but where I actually come to you and help you prepare the body in your own home, washing it, shrouding it, and having the body out, ideally for a wake for two days for whatever ceremony or ritual or party is meaningful for you as a family. My mother always insists on being shocked when I come up with the next ridiculous dark thing that I'm doing, um, but uh, she came around and now she's, she's really proud of her mortician daughter, I'd like to think. Death is actually a really intense source of life, and ever since I started working with the dead, my life has improved quite dramatically, and I'm much happier and much more open to experiences.